So I told you guys I was going to be making a video about the breathing issues, and here it is. So, um, see, I told you I was going to do it tonight. It's in the same, I'm laying here on the same floor making this video. So, anyway, um, I wanted to talk about the breathing issues because that's a major thing. And funny thing is, that was the thing that was voted most to talk about was the breathing issues. So that's why I decided to go ahead and talk about them. But funny thing is, um, just a few days ago, I actually got hit with it. Um, I know you guys know I've I've gotten past my anxiety. Everything's amazing. But I still get my little bouts with some of the symptoms. So, But it just doesn't affect me like it used to. But I did get a bout of it like a few days ago, and it was horrible. But it only lasted for like a minute or two. And I, it, But it made me remember, oh, I remember I used to feel this all the time. And I remember having the breathing issues, the hyperventilation, and it was horrible. It was I had the hyperventilation for about five years straight, I want to say. Um, maybe five years? I don't know. It, but I just know it was years. I had it for years, 24-7, uh, waking up with it, going to sleep with it. It was horrible. So bad. So bad. And so I wanted to talk about this. So the breathing issues that come from anxiety tend to always stem from hyperventilation. So it's actually hyperventilating. It's either some of you will either have the regular hyperventilation or like me, I had hyperventilation syndrome. So hyperventilation is basically you're breathing too much. And you know what? And this is used to happen to me. You'll feel as if like you don't feel like you're over breathing and you don't feel like you're taking in too much oxygen and you don't feel um, as if you are in a like. You don't feel like you're freaking out because like I used to go to the hospital and be like, oh, my God, something's wrong with me. I can't breathe. And they would be like, you're fine. You're freaking out. I'm like, but I'm not. I'm so very calm right now. And they would be like, but apparently you're not, you know, and they would show me like the the little thing that tells you about your oxygen. My oxygen levels were always like 100 and they were like, you have plenty of oxygen. And I was like, but why don't I feel like it? And so what happens in hyperventilation is you're taking in too much oxygen. When you take in too much oxygen is when you actually feel as if you can't breathe. But in reality, you have too much oxygen. So you have to calm yourself down and you have to do breathing exercises. And you know what? I'm going to make another video. I'm going to make one tonight on breathing. I'm going to show you all a breathing exercise, a breathing technique that has always helped me, a specific breathing technique. I'm not gonna, I'm just going to throw you all out to the wolves and be like, hey, just figure out a breathing technique that works for you. I mean, that works. That's great. You should do that. But I am going to show you mine. But um, hyperventilation can actually cause you to feel uh, it can bring on headaches. It can bring on dizziness. It can bring on that whole the world's off balance feeling without you even realizing it. Um, it can make you have nausea. It can make you get the derealization really bad. It can cause you to have tingling all over the tingling sensation all over your body. It can cause you, it caused me before to stiffen up where like your fingers will like, you'll do this. You'll be like, you can't, you can't bend them. Oh, it's scary. But I, but I'm telling you, but, <laughs> but you have where you can't bend your fingers. You can't like, I've even had where my arm was stiff. I couldn't even bend my arm. It got to where my legs, I couldn't bend my legs. That's, that's another story all together, but that hyperventilation can do a lot. And that happened to me from my hyperventilation syndrome. Um, me like over like allowing it to run away with my sanity basically. And so, um, it can also cause you to have parts of your body, your face or whatever, even your tongue will go numb, you know, things like that can happen from hyperventilation syndrome or hyperventilation at all. Some people just get, like I said, they'll get the hyperventilation just once. You know, it'll be like a one time thing or some people will get it just every once in a while. And then some people have it 24 seven, like what I did. So um, but it is truly just anxiety and it's scary as heck. And you feel like you're dying. I used to always freak out thinking, oh, my God, oh, my God, my brain. I used to feel like my lungs weren't working anymore or I would feel like this numbness, a deep numbness sometimes would come over my chest or I would get where I um just felt like I was about to die. Like I felt like, oh my God, this is my last breath. And there was times too with the hyperventilation syndrome where I would wake up in the middle of the night and I wouldn't be able to breathe. I was I would wake up in the middle of the night and just, <gasps> and I couldn't breathe at all. There was times I would be like, 
having to calm myself down in my head I'd be like okay you're not gonna die you're not gonna die and there was times that I would be having to take the littlest breaths it was the only thing I could take I would have to be like like that trying to breathe it felt like I couldn't breathe and I was scared to death and it was in the middle of the night waking up like this and those of you who have dealt with this I feel horrible because I know exactly what it feels like I know how scary it is and um, it's just horrible I know and go ahead <laughs> so but um, I used to get that I used to get where I would be trying to go to sleep at night and I would take the deep breath and it wouldn't it, it's like I would feel like I was about to die like I felt like this feeling go through my chest and my whole entire body and then I would like get scared and like stay up and then I'd have insomnia I'd be so tired and I wouldn't be able to sleep even if I tried to lay down and go to sleep like the hyperventilation wouldn't let me like it's but there's other symptoms that actually would give me the insomnia as well but this is one of those that did and so it's scary it's horrible and I understand I've been there you know and uh but it really is just your anxiety and I know you get tired of people telling you that and you probably get tired of people being like oh it's all in your head blah blah blah, blah. and people should never tell you that because yes even though it is all in our head sort of in a way you know it's physical symptoms that we really are dealing with and it's things that we really are trying to get through and um it's scary I know I, I remember this I remember how it feels and one of the best things I learned from the hyperventilation thing is breathing exercise you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what I do for my breathing the thing that helps so to always breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth always when you start hyperventilating breathe in slowly through your nose and I know this too whenever you're hyperventilating sometimes when you breathe in slowly through your nose trying to take that deep breath because you already have a lot of oxygen in your system it's gonna be hard to do so you have to just start little and don't be doing it fast you're gonna make things worse for you so you just slowly and out and what I used to do I call it square breathing there's an actual name for it but I don't know what it is and you can start off with four seconds and then you can go from there and some people you will do it with like four six eight ten twelve seconds whatever you want to do but you just start out with four I started out with four what you do is you breathe in for four seconds hold your breath for four breathe out for four hold your breath for four Just like that I call it square breathing because it's four. it's like just you do it four times so but like I said you can start out with four seconds you can go to six seconds if you can do that eight seconds whatever you want to do but um, it helps me all the time so that helps on top of that if you need a distraction so if you can focus on something else if you can read a book um, pick up a book listen to happy music that makes you happy um, relaxation music meditation meditations amazing if you can do that um, pray talk to God you know don't freak don't be freaking out talking to him oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm gonna die please don't do that don't do that what you need to do is you need to be your just be still do the breathing exercises talk to God or be quiet and allow God to talk to you you'll be able to feel him you'll be able to feel his presence I know I've done this so many times so you know um, all these things will help you you need to be able to figure out your own thing what will help you 
to get through the hyperventilation. I just showed you my breathing thing. Um, I'm probably going to do a video just on the breathing thing, maybe, but I just do it in with this one, so I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, so just know that you got this. Like, it really is just your anxiety. It isn't even your anxiety. Don't even call it anxiety. You need to just throw that name away. Like, seriously, don't even give it a name. Give it a, just be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm having this. Or if you're going to give it a name, go ahead and do that. But don't, like, be like, oh, I'm doomed. It's my anxiety. No, don't be that way. You need to just realize what it is and let it go. Realize, okay, you know it's your anxiety. You've dealt with it before. Um, those of you who, who, of you who are new to the anxiety, it isn't so easy for you because it's brand new and it's super scary when it's brand new because you don't know how to deal with it. And I understand that. So it's going to be a little harder for you guys, but you can do it too. So um, once you realize what it is, you tell yourself, okay, it's, it's my anxiety. You know what it is. You know it's just your anxiety. Then you just take that and you just let it go. Just be like, okay. It, but it's it's not going to hurt me. And you know this. It's like, I don't know how old you guys are, but there's an old movie I used to love when I was a kid. I used to watch it all the time, and I still watch it to this day, and it's called Labyrinth. And um, I used to, it's like, you have no power over me. That's exactly what I used to always do. I used to sit there literally with my anxiety and be like, you have no power over me. Because it doesn't. You have all the power inside of you. You have the power to be able to say no or yes. Or you know what? Oh my gosh. This has no power over me. And you will get there. You, I promise you'll get there. You will get to where I am now. And y'all that have watched me for all these years, those of you who have been my subscribers for all this time, who have known me from the very first few videos I ever did, um, know how much I have gone through and how bad my anxiety was and I didn't even portray it as bad as it was on the videos it was bad so and I was like a prisoner of my own mind for 14 years straight before I started to figure out a way to get out so and here I am bringing this knowledge to you so and on top of that yeah just remember you're not alone I love you guys and I hope you guys have a good night. And those of you who are dealing with the anxiety, I hope you get through it tonight. And remember, you're not alone. I keep saying that. But you are my fellow silent warriors. I am a silent warrior just like you are. So, uh, yeah. But love you guys. Remember, you're not alone. Bye.